All right, hi everybody, welcome. Um, so today we're gonna take a look at the uh, December and January lighting challenge. It's a sushi party. Uh, so honestly guys, every month, every time that we do these, you guys blow me away with submissions. Um, and and it's really, like it's really, it's, it gets harder and harder every single time to pick a winner. Um, but uh, Jasmine and I sat down yesterday, we looked through things. Uh, we we we've we identified some some really good um, some really good qualities on a lot of them, but there was one that kind of stood out as as doing you know really telling a story, uh, really having some fun elements in it, and um, so we are very uh, glad to announce that the winner this month is uh, Amy. Um, so congratulations, Amy. Uh, this looks really beautiful. Like some of the things that we saw um, was like the directing the viewer's eye to the center of the screen. The combination of a couple different lighting styles, which is really tricky, which is getting these fireworks to feel right, um, and then and then one of the real big ones uh, that we we just love the look of the rice and some of the detail elements in this looked really really good. The colors felt really good. Everything just felt uh, really nice and right. And you you worked uh, really hard on this one and got it all in place nicely, and it it, it worked out really really well. So um, so congratulations, Amy. I do want to go through a few others because, like I said, there's a lot of good submissions. Um, and I'll be glad to like answer any questions if you guys could just uh, mute your, it sounds like somebody's live right now, if you guys could just mute your microphones uh, for the time being and then I will, we'll, we'll open it up to a little Q&A at the end. Um, so Aaron, this one is like, like we really love the color on it, everything looked really beautiful. Um, like this is just super fun, it was just like some of the smaller elements uh, weren't, weren't quite there, like some of the specularity stuff and then like this is a little bright on the foreground uh, compositionally so um uh yeah so that that was that was one of the reasons why we went but like overall this is a really really strong piece uh aaron this this ended up really nice like i said we, we worked on this a lot in the critiques and over the month again your rice looked really strong the um uh the sushi rolls themselves the specularity could have been a little bit more um a little bit tighter on that um actually and then but yeah, but overall, like I said, just because something is picked as a winner doesn't mean it's not a successful piece that 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 can definitely be demo real early. Uh, Allie, this looks this looks this looks it's funny because this is like different than any of the other submissions because like they look darker, they look more sinister. It almost looks like they're part of a mafia here. Um, some of the things like these these specular highlights just feel a little bit more um, uh, like metallic than um, than anything else. Actually, I'm gonna see if I can. not just because I'm getting some some background noise here. Let's see if we can't just. Uh, I don't know if I have the ability to mute people. Let's see if I can do that. Um, everyone, yeah. Hey, look at that! I can I can mute people. That's cool. All right, good to know for next time. All right, here we go. Um, so, Allie, this looks this looks really good. It's it's some of this. Uh, the green light in there is is um, is a lot of fun. It's just that like it's playing, um, it's hitting the specular highlights in some of the areas are coming across as kind of strange, like on this eye, along this edge. Uh, it would be better to like have a better craft of it in place here. Also like the, like I would darken back here to really keep the focus in here on these characters. Um, Amy, again, looks great. Uh, Ashley, this looks really well too. Like everything is, is functioning really well. Um, it's just a matter of, like I would darken this character back here, just like the orange light on the green is kind of graying them out a little bit. Um, and and I would I would keep pushing and as you develop your skill, we'll, we'll, we'll develop some new techniques to like really kind of feel the diffusion and feel the glowiness and like um, add those special elements to the scene. David, this looks, uh, this is a lot of fun. Like the, 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 the use of color on this was really strong. Like getting the foreground to read over the background by, by having this pocket of warmth over the cool um, in the background, like in, including it in a kitchen scene and just having like this expansive space looks really well. It's just that um, we're we're losing the read on like the the characters' faces and their actions a little bit. Like the the whole read is like reading on their silhouette, and it, it actually makes him look a little bit more sinister. It would be great if with all this top down lighting, if you were able to push more bounce light up in there and really kind of get them to. To, to read some of their expressions in there. Uh, Diana, this one, this this was a, this was right up there. Uh, 
the you did you did a better job of getting that that sushi uh, um, the seaweed texture looks great. All of your secondary components look really great too. Um, this is again a very strong demo reel piece. With this, it just came down to um, the the look of the the rice between the two, um, like uh, and and the the limbs on the characters, just those white elements. Um, they're 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 a little uh, disconnected and like they're a little brighter up here, not quite as bright there. Um, but like I said, super minor stuff. Um, it's all just really, really beautiful. And again, your daytime one, same deal. Like you've, you've, you've got such attention to detail on it. It just looks really good. Uh, Glory did a good job of playing with scale a little bit. Like this, <laughs> it feels like a real um, uh, special, like it feels like an Indiana Jones sequence. Like that's about to like, he's about to steal this thing and go running off. Um, but it feels like a giant monolith. Uh, and this is like a lot of fun. I would like to see some more detail in the specular highlights in some of these uh, leaves and in some of the characters here. But like this, and but like the look of the rice on this is really, really strong. Uh, Jeff, you did a really good job of telling a story here, getting the character to read, drawing the eye there. Um, again, it's it's not a matter of any anything looking. Uh, it's just, it's not a matter of anything wrong with any of these. It's just that, the, that uh, we had to pick a winner. Um, uh, Javier, this is, or Jorge, sorry, Jorge, th these are looking, uh, it's like, you have such a strong use of color in your work. It's just a matter of like taming that a little bit and really using it to, to really focus in the eye. Uh, Juan, also really beautiful stuff. Um, just wanted to see us, uh, again, it's, it's so tricky, but like some of these characters back here in the background are starting to look a little gray and a little flat. It would be nice, again, with all the light coming down from kind of above, if you played up some more bounce light coming up from underneath them. It's, of course, you did a good job of, of getting them to fall back into space. It's just that they're getting a little bit flat back there. Um, and with the nighttime one, uh, same, it's pretty much the same thing. Like the hero characters are really getting shaped well. The whites are a little bit blown out. It would be nice to see a little more subsurface on there. But, but it's just these background ones, um, keeping them on their like uh, hero color and, 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 and while still allowing them to fall back into space a little bit is, was the challenge there. Uh, Mindy, this looks, <laughs> it's really good. It's just a little bit too bright and I would like to see it go a little bit warmer. Uh, Pearl, you've done, you did a great job of getting these, these into a strong place. Um, it's just a little bit more uh, having this light influence these guys with a little bit of rim. Uh, a central bulb in there to kind of like really feel like they're, cause right now they're just kind of glowing and really like feel like there's a light source in there would be really good. Um, and same things with, with the alternate angle here, just just feeling more of an influence on these guys. I get that there's like an off camera spotlight hitting them in the middle, but really feeling a sense of the, the light that we have in there. Um, this one looks really good. This is a tricky part of, of the backgrounds uh, using like JPEGs as, as background images because what ends up happening is the brights get a little bit clipped out. Um, so it would it would just be a matter of if you're using backplates like that, make sure that that their white and their black point are, are in alignment with what we want the scene to be. And then uh, for the lighting, uh, this is fun. Uh, it's a fun moon spotlight here. Again, just want to see more bounce light um, and then more light kind of penetrating some of these subsurface uh, regions on the characters too. And Shibli, this is uh, this is really fun. I just want to see more um, feeling of of these of the light, uh, the key light on the on the characters a little bit more, whether it's in bounce or, or whatever. Um, but again, the saturation, the colorful, the the overall colorfulness of everything is really good. It's just a matter of 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 getting that to uh, create some more shaping and really focusing in the eye on each character. So, again, really really brilliant job, everybody. This was. Um, Again, a very difficult challenge to 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 find a winner on, but um, but it's uh, it's it's just uh, you guys, like I said, just did a, a really really a really really good job. So um, so yeah, I'll go ahead and open it up. Do you guys have any questions, or is there anything that we could, that you guys want to talk about while we're on? Um, like I said, we'll hopefully do do this a little more often, but um, now that I can see your guys' faces and we can talk a little bit, I'd like to do this more with the critiques and stuff. Um, uh, let's see. Dave, you got a pretty sweet setup up there. You've got some like neon lights going back there. I see like you've got like a sound mixer off to the side. What do you got going on there? I have all these, uh, these synthesizers for, for COVID pandemic stuff. So. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, very nice. Very you know, cool. The smallest synths there are probably. I don't know. Yeah, but it's fun. <laughs> <laughs> How's it been going? Have you uh, have you been learning some new stuff? Um, yes, I did, and uh, I was glad to hear about this challenge. I just heard about it last week. The uh, live challenge, and uh, yeah. Yeah. So we. Hard. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's it's one of those things like. Um, yeah, the lighting challenges, you, you see them and you're like, oh, I can just download and I can go. But like, it's really, really, um, it really is tricky. Like it is really tricky to kind of get these things because every single, the thing that I really like about them is that every scene has their unique challenges. I always think of it like, like if you guys ever watched like the Great British Bake Off or any of those type of shows, like there's always like three things that they're kind of judged on at the end that you don't really know that that's going to be the things that they're judged on. Like the like the air bubbles and the loaf of bread or whatever the thing is um and so with these they're they're kind of the same way and they that kind of develops over the course of the month like you know i i work with um jasmine and i work with a woman named sarah tar who's in australia who who for most of these and builds these sets and builds these scenes for us and we kind of come to her with an idea and everything kind of gets built and we think that the lighting challenges are going to be certain things but then once and, and like, I'll play around with the scenes and I'm like, I think I have a good idea of them. But then like once um, so many, a bunch of people jump in and start lighting them in different ways, you start to realize that like the challenge for this one was like getting the rice to look really good. Or like, we've got this big set with all these different characters. Like, how do we focus in on, on certain things and how do we play with scale um, was another big one. And, and just kind of getting all that stuff to work together is really fun, but. Yeah, for me, the biggest challenge was the lighting the, I think it's Salmon in English. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it's, and that's exactly what you said. It's hard to read the face, and I, yeah, I, I struggled with that. Yeah, like I with the with the the eyes, and I put an emission shader on it, so it's 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 brighter. No, no. no that's totally and like like the like I didn't I didn't appreciate how difficult it would be to like read a face on on that green seaweed, too. Like getting the shaping on that with the eyes to pop out. It's really it was it was tricky. Um, and then, oh, uh, since I have you guys here too, uh, like I said, the um, February challenge, we usually launch them on the 1st, um, but this month we're pushing it to the 4th because we want to time it with the release of our uh, Katana course, which is almost ready, which is, by the way, when we release the Katana course, there's going to be a, a good chunk of videos that are there. Um, Abel's making some more as we go. So there will be some that like, there'll be enough to get up and running. He's doing a more elaborate project now, and that'll come a little bit later, but um, we'll be releasing that on Thursday with, uh, and then we're doing the foundry presentation. We just kind of wanted all that to happen at once. And so we're, we're holding the next lighting challenge. So you, this is like the only time there'll actually be a break where there's no lighting challenge. This is the first time in like a year and a half that there's been no lighting, active lighting challenge going on. Um, but we'll get that, we'll get that to you guys, but we're really excited about it. Like, so just a backstory of, of, of what we're working on. It's, um, and we've been working on it for a while because one of the things that, that cause like the foundry came to us and like, hey, we want to do this presentation in February. Uh, we know that you guys have done uh, dark skin characters before. It's going to be Black History Month. We thought it'd be really good if you guys, and they, they just wanted us to, to, to work with the character that we had before. Um, a couple, or, and we were like, no, we want to use this as an opportunity to make something new. So we worked with Danny Williams, who um, is a brilliant character artist who's worked at Blue Sky and DreamWorks. He's now working for Netflix. Um, and he was kind enough to work with us since like November to develop a character. He modeled her, he shaded her, um, and we put it all together. Abel's putting her together right now in Katana. So she'll be ready to roll in Katana. And, um, it's just, it's, it's, it's our, it, I can't wait to let her myself is, is all I can say about her right now. Um, and, uh, she's just, it's just a lot of fun. And, um, there's a lot of, like I said, there'll be unique lighting challenges on her that I think are going to be the thing, but I don't, but they could be, end up being more difficult. So we'll see. Um, Forrest, how are things going for you, buddy? They're going great. Um, I just started a course on video games at Everton University. Cool. And I did a 48 hour game jam this weekend and had to learn unity lighting. And because of, uh, because of Kevin Graham made art, I picked it up incredibly quickly was making like volumetric lighting that impressed all these students who are you know 34 years ahead of me 
I was just saying that to um, to somebody who's saying like they wanted to take a break um, and and learn and and learn Maya. Like they've been working in Blender for a while and they want to switch over to Maya. And once once you kind of get like a, a one or especially two like three D packages or render engines under your belt, like the amount of time that you spend scared of learning something new is far outweighs the time it takes to actually learn the new thing. Cause it's just like, you're like, Oh wait, I know how to, I know what I want to do. It's just a matter of doing it. You know what I mean? Like, figure, like I want to, and you also know like the terminology to like search for the right things. Like you want to make a volumetric light. Like I want to just search volumetric light in unity. Um, although the real time stuff, um, the real time stuff is a little different in some of the way that you think about it. Uh, which is, but I mean, it's all coming together. Like, um, uh, Jordan, who's, who taught the, who's teaching the Unreal course, um, just got a job at Blue Zoo in the UK, which is, which is more cinematic, like animation and commercials and stuff, but using his knowledge of, of Unreal in that, in that, and in that pipeline as well. So that'll be really interesting, but like, it's all, it's all coming. Like we're all going to do real time stuff sooner or later. It's just a matter of, of when it can, cause it's like, it's too good. It's too good of a workflow and it's starting to look too yeah. good that it's, I, I gotta think that's where this is all going, but all right, cool. Let me see. All right. Does anybody else, anybody else have any other questions or anything? Like I said, I would really, I, I really like to um, do more of these and figure out opportunities to do this more often. Cause it's, it's great to see your guys' faces. Again, I'm just trapped in an apartment most of my day, uh, just working on things. So it's good to, and I, did, I didn't, yeah, my wife wouldn't let me buy uh, mixers to learn audio stuff. So <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, and, um, and like I said, yeah, with the snowstorm, it's like even, I mean, even getting like across, it took me like 30 minutes to walk my son to daycare this morning and it's five blocks away. It was a five block walk. Should take seven minutes, but he was just like, snow, I want to play with a snowball. I want to make a snowball. Everything's snow. So uh, yeah, so I'm just hanging here. So uh, like I said, I'd like to figure out a way to do these more often. So. All right, I'm going to hop off for now, unless anybody's got anything else. But congratulations again to Amy. I don't know if she's here, but we'll, we'll, I'll post that in the, in the forum to, to make sure to give her her congratulations as well. But again, uh, Barry, to, I just had a question. What's that? Who did? Barry. Oh, yeah. Hello? Hello? Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Um, I just wanted to ask about the eyes special real quick. One thing I've noticed about Amy's server like, is Oh, say, say that again. Do you think she might have used what? Oh, yeah. So, so, yeah. So, so one of the things that, um, um, I unplugged my way come, but, uh, <laughs> one of the things that, that, uh, in terms of the structure of her lighting, like, so, so you were talking about using wrap lights. So, so she's got this light kind of coming in. It's so theoretically it's, it's straight down over top of them. Right. In, in, in the reality of, and, and if that was true, you would see a lot of brightness up here. You actually wouldn't see that much on their faces. Um, and it would just be like, you would really feel like the top of it was getting illuminated. But what she did instead was, was she had this light coming in, but she actually, um, for the position, the actual light illuminating the characters, it looks like she pitched it down like back behind them a little bit so that the light is kind of hitting them at, at a more of an angle. Um, uh, this way, and so that it's 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 able to sneak some light in on their faces, and able to kind of wrap it around this way. And what she's been able to do, because this round shape is so uh, crucial to the anatomy of these characters, is kind of push the light around this way, uh, uh, which creates like darkness in here, and then and then pushes uh, the sparkle light on their backs to kind of create that feeling all around. And even on these characters here that don't have that same structure, you can kind of see like this three step process. Of, of like bright here on the front using this red light in the middle and then dark back there. And same thing over here. It's like bright on the back, a little bit of mid-tones here and then, and then a little bit darker. So, so like having that, that wrapping and that shaping um, was really, really important. Is that, is that kind of what you meant? Oh, yeah. yeah. Like and, I, I really want to implement that in mind too. Yeah, so. It just Right, and like a lot of that too is the shader work she did on on the rice and some of these these other elements, because um, uh, again, like we we try and set them up as as best we can, but 
inevitably when you're lighting, depending on the lighting situation and, and, and uh, the mood that you're going for, you're going to, you're going to want to make some tweaks on it. And it also looks like, um, looking at hers too, it looks like she, she may have added um, a little bit of like a displacement or a bump to these as well. And so like, because I can see that, like, like I can see that, that there's a break up in the specularity and it looks really great on yours. It's just a matter of, of maybe using that to, to offset the face a little bit with a little bit of displacement would really kind of help the light um, interact with the surface a little, a little more in a, in a more detailed way. But, but I mean, you've kind of got, like I, I was, I was mentioning during our critiques, like on this character, especially like it's beautiful. Like it's so well done. Like this, the, the amount of illumination on this rim, uh, this warmth in through the middle and then allowance to kind of go off into that dark value there is, is, um, is really, really strong. So whatever you, whatever you did there, keep doing that over and over again in your work and you'll be, in a, you'll be good. Oh, I lost it. Yeah. All right. Let's see. I hear a lot. Of, I hear a lot of ding dongs going on. Um, Stop sharing my screen. Will, the, will this um, also be made into a video? Yeah. Um, Probably. I'm recording it right now. Like it's actually, I'm actually like in the process of of recording it. So if that works, well, I'll post it to YouTube. Um, yeah, but because uh, like I said, we we're we're very conscious of everybody at different time zones. Like I said, uh, Adrian is somebody who always is like. I'm always like, you know, hey, if, try and get your lighting submissions in by noon for today's review. And he's like, that's one in the morning, my time. And I'm like, okay. So we try and we try and record everything um, and have it available because, like, uh, it's I don't want people having this ruin their night of sleep in order to attend these things. So, um, all right, cool. Well, are there any other questions before I stop this for the day? All right, cool. All right, thank you guys so much. Like I said, um, we're gonna try and do this more often. It's so good. Um, it's great to see faces. So if anybody else wants to uh, wants to share their screen for a goodbye, it would be great. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, let's see. Hey, how's it going? Hey, Shibley. Because I only I only know you guys from you, the profile pictures that are like are just uh, like the small Annabelle. Hey, how's it going? It's like, it's so good to actually see. Annabelle, do you have a cat? Is that a cat on your thing? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> He's enjoying the snow. Sorry about that. He's <laughs> cold, though. He's like next to the window. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, Aaron, how's it going? Thank you so much. It's good. It's like I said, it's just good. It's good to see faces. All right. I'm going to do this more often. This makes me happy. All right. Cool. All right. Thank you. Thank you guys again for joining in. I will talk to you all soon. I'll figure out a way to do this more often. This is less intimidating than I thought it would be. So I feel really good about it. Discord makes me feel, yeah, Discord makes me feel old most of my time on it. It makes me feel, <laughs> it's like. I'm pretty much a newbie too to Discord, so. Yeah. It's. The, the, school, the school I'm doing now, like all of the classes, like have Discords that the professors have made and like communicating to us through that. Yeah. It's, it's, it's really good. Like I'm, I'm really glad we made the switch. I just wish that they did threaded comments. That's the only and I think like everyone says that because it comes up like once a month. I was like, can I just like thread this comment within it? Like, yeah. I it's it's nice though for the submissions because the, the biggest problem I was having with Facebook was uh, finding all the submissions when they because like people would like submit their work, but then other people would submit updates within the comments, and I would miss them all the time. It was bad. So um, yeah, but overall I really like it. So yeah. yeah I, I think it's a good idea that this works. Yeah, and it gives us a chance to do this more, which I haven't fully taken advantage of yet, but we'll figure out a way to do it. Would you, I mean, cause like, would it be beneficial to do the critiques this way? And that way, if you guys are available, you could hop on and like, if, I give, if I'm giving feedback on your work, then you could ask questions, would that be better? That would be pretty cool actually. Yeah. Like you get the answers like live and ask questions. Yeah, cause it's, it's, it's important to do that. Cause like that's part of the thing with, with daily critiques is that you get to, um, yeah, you get to work with the director or the art director on stuff. I mean, lots of times there's a lot of stuff to go through, so they, they kind of um, hop through things pretty quick. But 
Uh, but I, the ability to ask questions, that, that was kind of one of the things that I was missing. So yeah, if this works out where I can record it and and answer questions, I might just do that. Um, and I'll try, I'll try and be more consistent with, I'm trying to be more consistent with the times of them. Um, just, be, but it's just like, you guys know how it is, like your daily, especially when, if you're working remotely, um, the amount of meetings that pop up last minute, um, uh, can be tricky. So, um, yeah, yeah. but, but I do like this, this, this will be good. Okay. I'm going to try this. We'll try this tomorrow. Uh, we'll try it tomorrow for tomorrow's critique. Let's see. I'll probably, if my, let's see if, let's see if we can figure out a time and I'll just tell you guys the time tomorrow and then I'll post it. Um, probably around like 1230 Eastern time tomorrow, right in there. Um, yeah, and we'll do it because okay, that looks like I have about a half hour in there, but we have to, I have to do a, a dry run with the foundry on the presentation because they're very like they, they, they're, they're, we're doing like two or three dry runs with them before we actually go live with it. I think live webinars with like live webinars with a large number of people are, but the good thing is, is that we're, we're recording a major part of our. Our, our, our lecture, so like it's already done. Jasmine and I did it last week and I just like packaged it and sent them the file. And so I can just like sit there while the video plays and not actually have to do the presentation live, which is which is better. It's more reassuring than having to do everything live. Yeah, yeah, and I think I think for them it's reassuring too, so we don't say anything that we're not supposed to say like. Um, yeah, exactly, like less room to mess up. <laughs> yeah, 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 and like, or, or just, I, yeah, less room to mess up, less room for, it's, it's more technical glitches. Cause every time that, um, that's always a problem. And there's also like the thing too, um, whenever I set up like uh, live interviews or anything, there's always like five minutes before it starts, there's a panic that I go through of like, is this person actually going to show up? Like, is, <laughs> cause like we set it up and there'll be emails and then like you sit down at your computer and you get your microphone set up and your camera set up and then you like, you log on and, and it's it like you, if the other person doesn't show up, you don't really have anything to talk about. And you've got other people like, what was it when we had the, the um, uh, oh, we did the baby Yoda thing. It's like we had a whole bunch of people online and registered for it. And I was just like, I was, and I had only known him through a friend and I hadn't talked to him too much. And I was just scared that he was just gonna forget about it or not show up. Yeah, basically. Like last minute just like messes up. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Yeah. All right. Okay, so I am going to hop, guys. I do have to go to another meeting, but I will talk to you guys very soon. Like I said, we'll try this tomorrow, and then I think this will work out well. But this will be good. All right. All right, be good, guys. I'll talk to you all soon. Congratulations, Amy, if you're in one of these windows. Talk to you.